Alright, so we have Demonic Supremacy launch trailers. I got a video. Let's see what this is about. Um, launch trailer is for PS4 games. So it's for current gen. Oh my god, I'm so loud. Why is this game so loud right now, bro? Okay, so it's, it's kind of like a. Oh my god, oh my god. Kevin Durant? Like, what is it? I know I'm about to get like life right now. This is this is fine. So it's kind of like Doom a little bit. Okay, that little gun looks alright. I'll be real. Dude, what type of Tasmanian devil thing was like, bro? Sit down. Roly poly. <laughs> We're gonna get this God of War boss out of here. Oh no. Bro. Okay, I mean. Things being shown. Okay, here's what I gotta say about that, alright? Games like this, and I've seen this time and time again when it comes to games, you know, um, it it really depends on a person. For some people, it can be fun, right, to just have action-packed, I'm talking about, like, Doom-type games. We've, we've, like, we've all played Doom before, and Doom is very action-packed and stuff like that, very action-packed and gore, and um, which is pretty cool. But at the end of the day, I feel like a game like this that has so much going on, for some people, it could be like a it could be like a like a turnoff for some people, uh, when it comes to like you know when it comes to games like that. For some people, they love it. They you know it, it's just action packed. There's blood, gore, fruit juice, banana juice, fruit punch everywhere. You know it, it's just uh, bacon strips just everywhere, right? It, and some people like that. For me, it's a mix, honestly. Um, a game like this, I'll keep it real. Uh, graphically, it kind of gives me like that old school vibe graphically, like, um, like kind of like, like N64. I don't know why, but like it, it just, th th graphically, this game just took me back. It's not as, uh, graphic, um, as, it, you know, as, uh, as other games now. But at the end of the day, I don't know if, if, if it's just like the developer that made the game look like this, but hopefully, you know, Hopefully, games that come out that are made for the PS5 but still are allowed to use on the PS4. Hopefully, the PS. <laughs> hopefully, those games don't look like this. Graphically, because at the same time, a game like this will confuse me because you would have me thinking that okay, games that are made in 2023 that are for the PS4 will look like this. Which is which is I mean, the PS4 been out for what nine years. What I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, I don't think that, you know, games that are meant to be for the PS5, but, you know, you can still play for the PS4, I don't think the graphics should be that low. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like whenever uh, the PS4 came out, right? And let's just say 2016, I'm talking about prime PS4 days, right? 2016, right? Um, if you were to buy NBA 2K16 on the PlayStation 4, it looked pretty cool. Right, if you were to buy NBA 2K16 on a PS3, right, there are a lot of differences. Um, the looks, it looks, you know, it looks good, but at the same time, it doesn't look as good as it does on the PS4, which is only natural because you know when you have the PS4, the PS4, um, when it came like you know the graphics or whatever, and, and, and like the power and all the you know juicy stuff inside of it, paused, um, it was already better than the PS3. Obviously, it's the next. It's the it was the you know. Um, it was the newest console at the time, right? But now we're in PS5, bro, where like a lot of, uh, a lot of games are like very just high quality. So you can like, you're, <laughs> you as a person that plays video game often, you could be like playing all these high quality games. And as soon as you play a game that isn't as high quality as the last game that you played, it, 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 it like kind of throws you off. But at the same time, you know, Hopefully, a lot of games that are, because I know there's a lot of games that are coming out for the PS5 and, like, you know, Xbox 
and um and there's a lot of games that will allow you to play those games on the ps4 so hopefully you know they don't make the ps4 graphics look totally bad because the ps4 graphics still hit let's keep it real the ps4 graphics still do absolutely amazing obviously the ps5 is out so the graphics on the ps5 is just you know just out of this world but at the same time you know it's just crazy. I was confused because I'm like, wait a minute, bro. PS4 graphics look this bad? But then I also thought, okay, the developer of Demonic Supremacy could have just made the graphics like this. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. Uh, it's only out for PS4, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, on to, like, the action and stuff like that. For some people, it might be too much. And for some people, they might like it. That's, that's my take on it. Um, my personal take, it's like... Like it's, it's there. Like it's it's like a thing to where like it could be fun if I'm just going around just 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 holding the shooting button and I'm just shooting enemies. But at the same time, when it gets to a point to where like there's just so many things on the screen, I might I'm not gonna like that. I'll be real, I'm not gonna like that at all. But maybe that's just me. Comment down below. What do y'all think of demonic supremacy? See you guys later for the next one. I'm out and.